So 5, the diagram on the right shows a helicopter at a height of 125 meter from the ground. The helicopter moved horizontally towards the boy at a rate of 17 meter per second. So we see here it's moving this way. So we can say that this direction is negative 17. So we see here this one is horizontal. So I just get this one is x. So I can say that dx over dt over time is equal to negative 17. Okay. Find the rate of change of distance. So distance between the helicopter and the boy. Okay, find the, when the horizontal distance between helicopter and the boy is 72 meter. So find when x is equal to 72. So here we need to have an equation here. So we need to have equation. So we see here rate of change of distance. So we have this one. So we have x here. We have 1, 3, 5. And this one is the distance. So I don't want to use t. I just use that. Okay. So this is the distance. So when it want to know the rate of change of distance, it wanted to know what is dz over d. So here you see Pythagoras theorem. So x square plus 1, 3, 5 square is equal to z square. So z is equal to third x square plus 1, 3, 5 square. So this one is also equal to third x square plus 18, 2, 2, 5. So we wanted to find dz over dx. So when we want to differentiate, so we take the root out. So we have x squared plus 18, 2, 2, 5 to the power of half. So dz over dx is equal to, so we bring the power forward. So x squared plus 18, 2, 2, 5. So we minus the power with 1 and then we differentiate what is inside the bracket. So here, half x squared plus 18, 2, 2, 5. Half minus 1 is negative, half. So when you differentiate this one, number will become 0. x squared, you will get 2x. So here, 2 and 2 can be cut off. So you have x, this one is power negative, right? So I just bring it down. So x squared plus 18, 2, 2, 5, half. So which is equal to x divided by third x squared plus 18, 2, 2, 5. So we know that rate of change of distance, so we think the time, so dz over dt is equal to dz over dx times dx over dt. Because when we are changing, we are talking about rate of change, we are talking about time. So here dz over dx. So it's given that when the horizontal is 72. So when x is equal to 72 meter, so we can find that dz over dx is equal to, we just substitute 72 inside here, 72, so x is 72 square my plus 18, 2, 2, 5. So here we get, so here you get 8 over 17. So you see here, when x is equal to 72, you get dz over dx is 8 over 17. And you already have dx over dt, so the rate of change of x. So you see, this one is 17 meter per second, but this one is negative 17 because the direction is this way. So we know that dz over dt is equal to dz over dx is 8 over 17 times this one is negative 17. So here you get 17 and this one. So you get negative 8. So the rate of change of distance is negative 8 meter per second.